so we're back. I tried recording this last week. I got probably about two weeks ahead on my recording. Went ahead and uh, scheduled it to go up, and I got this done. Done last week, but the recording didn't come out so good, so I'm back to do it again this week, which is all right. But I'm not completely unprepared. At least I vaguely remember stuff about how I got to where I was last week. Yeah, we might stand a better chance if we team up. Oh, come on. Do not step on that thing again. Save that progress. Because there is a behemoth back there. See? There's a behemoth back there. He just squished the dude. If I'd stood around and let you see, he takes a car and smashes some poor soldier with it until he explodes and the giblets. And then he turns and starts immediately chasing you. Which is a real pain in the butt. Almost! Yeah, major fracture detected. Come in, Cooper. Do you copy? Forget about Freeman. They're abandoning the base. If you have any last bomb targets, mark them on the tactical map. Otherwise, get the hell out of there. Repeat, we are pulling out and commencing airstrikes. Give us targets or get below. Okay. When that behemoth comes out of the hallway there, I'm going to try to hit, score direct hit on him with these mortar rounds. That was a miss. I'm dead. Unless he doesn't find me. She usually finds me right away. Yeah. <sighs> See, squish dudes who didn't notice a 30 foot tall giant bug monster crumbing at them, so I guess they kinda deserve it, but. Does anyone really deserve to be squished by a bug monster? Really? There we go, he should be alien kibble on the other side there now. Let's see if I can... Blow that door out. So I 
think there were medical kits that I missed over there, but... Oh well, I guess I'll never get them there. I'm still at 52, so not a huge deal. I usually don't get out of here very much life anyway, so I'm not complaining. 52 is high enough. I can live. Okay, and I am saving that. I made it through one of these last time. The ceiling caved in. Kind of like that. Only I managed to avoid all of the pieces that were caving in. I, th I think it was in this room even. Even now. And you can survive some stupid bullshit right there. There's no way you would survive that, but this room. Okay, I am saving. This is some bullshit. Alright, you got this computer terminal here, and you got this fuse box here. Activating them both does the same thing. There is a turret gun in the ceiling under that metal cap right there. It'll come down and kill everything in the room, which is handy dandy. But stuff keeps teleporting in. So this room might take me a few minutes to actually get through. Because Vortigaunts and those big alien soldiers keep teleporting in once you start like killing here. Ninety-seven percent health. I should be able to survive this, I hope. Okay, there is an alien directly behind these boxes and an alien in the gap between that and the wall. Once you start killing them, Vortigaunts and other alien soldiers start teleporting in in this area. And it gets stupid real fast. I'm going to save it again. So I don't want to have to go through all that. Okay, it sounds like security guard actually did his job that time. Really? Of 
the last time I came through here, it was such a pain in the ass. The security guard died instantly every time and was no help. There's still a alien over there I gotta get, but... Sounds like you did a hell of a job. Unless I gotta shoot down a vehicle, but I've been using the rocket launcher more often. Okay, these things. These things are full of snarks. I don't know what the fuck they are, like dimensional pockets or some shit. You break them and like snarks start pouring out of the ceiling. That shit gets old fast. Shame to kill the Vortigons now, because I actually became pretty fond of them in Half-Life 2. Run far, far away. If any snarks come up this way, shoot. They usually don't make it far before they self-explode. I don't know why, but... They're like grenades with legs, which is how you're supposed to use them. But if they can't find anything to bite, they come back and they bite your ass. Saved again. Don't want that auto gun going off on me. A failed jump. There's no point in really fighting this. Kind of like face huggers on the other More annoying. Really? I'm just going to load and destroy that thing. avoiding that laser now, but in case there are other guns in here that I forgot about. I'm 
misting both times. I fell off of it. Hope it's dead. those big man-eating fish in this pool right here. I remember that. But I gotta go this way. So if I just make it quick, I will not have to interact with you. Like that. Then save. fire shooting out of, or no, steam shooting out of those hoses, which see, on the other side of that, it's that fish. I didn't shoot. Oh, my palm touched the touch pad again. If I can just hit his hand, it'll knock him out. if I've told you again. I told you just how much the voice acting quality is in this game. How good it is. Saving that shit, because I think there's a tank around here. I believe there is a tank. Okay, so I'm going to save that there. 
I probably just cut out a bunch of bullcrap where ABG popped up and the corner and advertised, and then I gave a whole big rant about that that I'm not going to go back through. After I'd killed the tank, and then discovered that there was an automated machine gun behind it. It already took like 40 some odd percent of my life. Well, I got more life th left than I had the last time. It royally boomed me last time. Okay, that should mean it's dead. First time I went through all this, I only had like fighting that tank. I only had like one percent or two percent life. So if the machine gun even clipped me, I was dead. And I kept repeating. And I got to that, and I think it brought me up like twenty or thirty percent life. So I got significantly more health coming through this time than I did last time. So. That's not too bad. Murdered in the pooty hole. Also, murdered in the pooty hole. Actually, I believe these darts are meant to be like tranquilizers, or meant to knock creatures out, but you'd rather just be dead than have an arrow go through your butthole and come out through your other parts below the belt. Usually the aliens win the fight here in the hangar. Not sure who's winning today. Looks like humans won. Okay, I can live with that. Plenty of stuff there so I can use my gal cannon, my tau cannon, and my rocket launcher. That should make me suspicious, but I know. Now, I said in a previous episode, I thought where you got into the tank that was stuck and then blew up in the doors in Blue Shift. And there still might be a thing like that in Blue Shift, but apparently it's in this as well. don't know if that'll work out, or if the tank going off will blow that up. But, it's worth finding out. Okay, I shoot this tank, I open that door down there, hopefully not blowing that up, and then more Vortigaunts and aliens come out through there. And it's like a crap load of them, so I'm going to go ahead and save the game. 8% health. Hey, does that work? Does the M2 work? Uh, I was gonna say if the M2 worked, I could, but it doesn't. Hmm. 
Where the fuck did you even come from, you asshole? I still got 42% health. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. It's enough I ain't gonna have to start over. Done. I'm gonna go ahead and save. I don't remember what direction the bad guys are on. I think this is actually where I left off last time. And I ended up erasing it because it was really something went wrong with the recording quality, and like I said, AVG popped up and interfered. I was short on time, so I was like, fuck it, I'll just I'll re-record it all together because Yeah, if you're gonna watch it, you deserve better than that. Alright, well, I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you liked, let me know. Hit the like button. Leave a message. Whatever. I will talk to you guys next time.